All right, so like, what are some things that you need like tech-wise in like your life? Like it's probably, it's a computer, it's definitely your phone, maybe a tablet. Probably not high on the list of things that you're thinking about are travel routers. And I'm gonna tell you why something like this could literally change the game when you're away from your house. Before I tell you how that game is going to get changed, let me also tell you how you can win 500 bucks. This is my favorite thing to do. I've been doing it for years. A way to give back. Thank you for supporting the channel for me all of these years. Leave a comment down below. Tell me like the first movie you'd stream with your new travel rider, or a fact about yourself or a joke. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure there's a way to contact you either with your social handle in the comment. I'll let it run for 10 days open to anywhere in the world. All the information you need though will be down in the description below. So travel riders, right? Probably not the top thing that you think about in the world of tech, but something that has saved my butt more than once, something that might save you too. So I'm gonna get a bit geeky, introduce you to sort of these things here. So I've got the best travel riders, I think in the biz going. This guy is the Barrel AX. Little, it's blue, fits in your pocket. And this guy, call him the big brother, it's a Spitz AX. And both of these are made by this video sponsor, GLINet. Like travel routers, right? It's probably like making a video on trousers. You don't always think about pants. You probably don't always think about your travel routers, but you definitely know when you don't have pants. And you're definitely gonna know when you don't have a travel router. So I wanna tell a legit true story. So every year we go to CES in January, the Consumer Electronics Show is, but it's also a time where you're struggling to find a way to connect to the internet. There's a bunch of public Wi-Fi networks, which I would probably trust more if they said we're not gonna hack you as like the title of the network. You just can't trust any of those networks. People are snooping. We had a private cubby booth and you could see this guy actually hiding in the corner. So story goes, our video producer Ralph brought one of these with him. We didn't know what it was. In fact, we kind of made fun of him. Like why do you bring a router to a trade show? Uh, little do we know he was the only smart one in the group. We were able to take that private network we could VPN back to the studio, we kept all of our devices, and we made our own secure network at CES, thanks to this little box. The next question is like, why don't you just tether from your phone? Because there are a million people at CES tethering from their phones, and despite having 30 bars of 5G ultra wideband, you were lucky to get maybe one or two down, let alone trying to get anything up. This thing saved us. This is before they reached out to sponsor us. We have one. We bought one, we used one. If you are in a hotel and you've got an ethernet jack, but you don't want to tether and you don't want to trust up free public Wi-Fi, we gotta just you know put in your last name and your room number. This is your savior. It literally fits in the backpack. It weighs almost nothing. You could probably fit it in your pocket. It will make sure that your connection is secure. Nobody's gonna know what you are browsing when you are in your hotel, uh, but also it can remove ads. It can do a lot of really cool things which I will get to. So I wanna get a little specky for, for a second. So this little mamma jamma can support WAN speeds. What WAN speeds do you say? 2.5 gigabits, also connect to remote VPN server. You can actually use your cell connection as a source of the internet through USB tethering. You even block ads on all your devices with just a uh, couple of clicks. It works, it's small, it's light. Yeah, this guy here, which kinda, kinda a little bit of an octopus look. Something out of the Matrix, like flying at you into Zion. Uh, this is the Spitz AX. And I'm probably guess what this thing is. Uh, this thing will supercharge uh, your experience with obviously a bigger form factor, while also being relatively portable. All these antennas you can kind of unscrew and put in a bag. But this guy has a secret power. Actually, has two secret powers. Uh, it has dual nano SIM slots. You can actually pop in a SIM card or two and use that as your net data source if you want and be able to use by all the devices on your network, or even as a backup if your main source of internet fails with automatic failover. What's also nice here is once you set this up, all your devices will be connected to it and know the Wi-Fi name. So when you jump between hotels or trade shows, you don't have to track down, like, you know, click on the back for a Wi-Fi name or password. You literally just plug this thing in, all your devices will be connected, and you'll be good to go. If you imagine you are on a train, you're in a hotel, you are somewhere, they are charging you for the privilege of using the internet, and you really have friends or family with you and you maybe don't wanna all pay that same fee. One of these guys, this is just USB-C powered. You can plug this in, broadcast your own network. There's a lot of really cool use cases for something like this. So, all right, that was probably a lot of jibber jabber. Let me actually show you like a real world use case uh, of how you could use this thing in examples here uh, at the studio. 
All right, so let's kind of move things around a little bit. Uh, Spitz AX is chilling over there. I got the barrel AX here. But let's say I want to use that Spitz uh, here at the studio to kind of serve as a multi-purpose network tool. Then I can use a barrel AX kind of anywhere I am to connect back here with just like the flip of a switch. Uh, the built-in USB port lets us plug in just about any drive and share its contents on the network. So in our case, we have assets we wanna share between phones, laptops, sometimes even smart TVs, uh, and also kind of other internet connected boxes. Some of the coolest features of these boxes is what you'll find when you jump on the web interface because this kind of shows the ton of configurations that you can do. You can get as granular as you want, and there is a lot that it can do. So for example, right out of the box, uh, it's pre-installed with AdGuard Home. So turning this on is going to automatically block ads on all websites and all devices because this is happening at a network level, not a browser extension level. It means it's going to work on Android, iOS, PC, Mac, no matter what browser you are using, it is I think incredibly sleek. Other things like in a few simple clicks, I can also set up a VPN server uh, to run on here too. You could use a consumer facing product if you want something like a Nord VPN. Great if you want to secure your internet connection and also unblock geo-restricted content. If you want to watch like Netflix in Europe. Once that is set up, that's really it. I don't have to think about it. And it means I can securely access this network from anywhere in the world and get access to any device or file, stuff like that, as if I was sitting right in this room. And also, because this is happening at a network level, this means all the devices will go through that VPN. Anything that connects to my network will be routed through the VPN. In fact, we set up the Barrel AX to act as a VPN client to connect back to the Spitz AX, which is our server. So whenever we are on the road for like a trade show, like CES or even when I'm home, I can connect all of my devices to this with a flip of a switch, turn on the VPN client, and now everything's connected directly to this network all the time with the same security benefits and access to all the devices like they are sitting on the local network. That is an incredibly cool feature to have. All right, so that like was a mouthful of, of things. I totally get that. But these are things that are so useful and people don't think about them or don't know that they exist. Maybe setting up multiple access points is not your jam. Maybe it's the technical side of this seems way over your head. Maybe you're a person who just wants a reliable, safe Wi-Fi network when you were traveling or if you're on a train. There's a solution for everybody, no matter what level your technical know-how is. Hey guys, uh, future John here. I'm homesick, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and I have a friend with me. Uh, the Spitz has been absolutely perfect. I needed to access files uh, at the studio um, to do some remote edits, and I was able to do it super easily. If you are homesick, or anything I talked about resonates with you. I got actually have a 10% off coupon code description down below. These are incredible products that do different things at different levels. And if you're anybody who travels and think about traveling, I think one of these should be in your bag. Uh, if you wanna learn more about either of them, just hit the link down below. I don't think you'll be disappointed.